Now with my first impressions of McHugh when I saw him, I said, wow, he's, a, he's an old dog. I was amazed when Roseanne told me how old he was and how good he moved around still. You know, I mean, uh, when, I, when I met him, he was, uh, what, 14? I guess would have been almost, or 15, close to it, 14, probably, when I met him. And I said, wow, he looks good for his age, and he still moves around, he's still happy, you know. And uh, Bob loved him, that's, uh, that's one of the other greatest things I knew, man. Bob cared about him so much. And um, but when I met him in November of 2005, Thanksgiving, he came with that purple cast on. I remember the purple cast and him and his grumpiness because he had the cast on. He didn't like the cast. But uh, he was, as I can remember him, he was a uh, bone hound, <laughs> I would call him. He, uh, he would always want bones. And if he ran low or if the bone was way too far away from him, now way too far could be like an inch, but he would still bark and expect you to come out and move it. Then you'd go out and move it to him and he would uh, sit there protect it, put his paw over it, lay down on top of it or something. Then about a half hour later he'd get up, move about a foot, lay down, and bark and expect you to move that bone again for him. No matter what, he he wanted that bone with him, you know, or the bones, even two or three of them at times. Um, you know, Roseanne said he was an intimidating dog because he always used to judge people, but when I remember him he was just a big fur bra, it was cuddly, you know, he just laid on the ground. You know, loved, loved when you he rubbed behind his ears and actually his backside too when you scratched him in the back. He, was, uh, he used to come back for that. And then uh, some of the memories of sitting at the table and that nose would come and just shove your arm up and just look at you up through underneath your arm or something like that or just come up and be like, hey, you know, hey, I need to eat. Give me something. You know, I mean, and then. Uh, I was, I guess I was the bad guy because I didn't like feeding the dog from the table, I, but I gave him a few times, I gave him some things, especially when Bob gave me stuff, he said, here, give him a hot dog, I like that, you know, so I'd give him a couple pieces of hot dog or something like that, and he'd be sufficing, he'd be happy, but then he'd know, you had that plate on the table, and he would not leave that table until you showed him that plate and that it was empty, it was uh, amazing how, uh, how intuitive he was, you know, and how he would just sit there and sit there and sit there and say, hey, I know you may have something on that plate. I need to see that plate. Make sure I didn't, I, I didn't miss anything. <laughs> no. uh, I guess my other memories of McHugh is when Bob would come down and go to Harrisburg for the, uh, or Lancaster, what was it, Harrisburg, Lancaster actually, for the, uh, the gaming convention. And Miriam would come down and I would come home at the end of the day and uh, take McHugh for his afternoon walk. And Miriam would always say, now don't take him too far because he will just quit on you. And you know what, I would take him, and he would never quit on me. I would walk him around, I would stop him from eating the grass, because he'd like to eat the grass. I know he shouldn't eat the grass, but he would still walk, you know, and then come back and he'd be happy about it, you know. He's just, he used to like to go around for the walk, you know. And uh, he'd see the other dogs, give the other dogs a little wolf, tell them that, hey, I'm still here, I'm still around, I'm still kicking. And, uh, you know, just be happy to walk around the neighborhood and stuff. And then the uh, couple times I've taken the walk with him and Bob, you know, up up in Hazleton, back on the trail, and just uh, amazed with him how he just he'd have to stop at every little spot. And Bob would like, look, he sniffed he sniffed there this morning. You know, he didn't need to sniff there again. It's only been a couple hours since we walked him last. But he would still stop at that little weed or that little bush or that little tree or a rock or something like that and still sniff it. Like, hey, I just need to make sure. No one else has been here. This is my area, my territory. I need to walk it and make sure no one has been here. You know, so he uh, he's very thorough on, on his walks. You know, making sure that that no one else has been in his uh, his domain and everything. And then uh, I guess the other times, I guess just walking around the house here in the circle and stuff like that. Uh, he just smell everywhere, smell everybody. You know. And uh, I guess with the other people coming over to the house for dinner and stuff, he bugged them for food too. So I mean, I guess my favorite favorite memories of McHugh is uh, how he acted. You know, I mean, with you know, with people, he, you know, he wanted to mooch pe mooch things off of people, as Roseanne would call him the mooch sometimes, or the moose, you know. And um, 
the walking of him, you know. 